Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you very quickly how to add, if you have a regular blog, I'm going to show you how to add a banner, an Empower Network banner to the blog. So right now I'm just going over to my blog, okay? And I'm just going to go, I'll just go right to my standard blog. And so you can see this is my regular blog, got all my stuff on it. I'm just going to scroll down here. I'm already logged in, but I'm going to site admin because I'm already logged in. And you're going to see the back office of a blog. So this is a, does this look familiar to you? Okay. Now all you have to do is you go down here on the left to appearance. And then you're going to click widgets. Now in your widgets, it should look like this. And you're going to see all these things in the middle. These are things that you can add, things that are inactive, blah, blah, blah. Now this is the north sidebar. I don't know why north is always the right side. Um, at least it is for me. I, I don't know why. Maybe I'm sideways. But this is my north sidebar. This is the things that appear on the right side of my blog. All you want to do, if you want to, now I have several, these are banners and things I have on the side of my blog. So all I'm going to do is in this middle, these are what, if up here you see it says available. In the middle, I'm just going to drag a text box. I left click, hold it, drag it over there. Bang. Okay. Now, it opens up. If it's not open, you know, I, there's a little gray arrow there. I just click it. It opens it up. Yep. Into the bar where you want it to appear. Now, all I do is I go back to, you know, we're already on EmpowerNetwork.com slash Ed from Ohio. And like I told you, you scroll down, you scroll down here. You went to the categories and found Empower Network or training, click on that, and that took you over, you, you saw a link inside there to the blog. So here it is. Here's an Empower Network banner. All we do is we highlight, all we're doing is left click at the beginning, and drag it all the way through. And when you get to the end, unclick your left click. Now you've copied it. Now I right click, a little menu pops up, I hit copy. Now I go back to the widgets. Remember I had this open over here. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to paste this in there. I, all I did is I went right click and then I left clicked on paste. Now boom, it's in there. But where it says username in big letters, I put my username. So if I go, my username is Ed from Ohio. And this is the only place you change anything. I just changed that. Now all I do is I hit save. And it, it, if you didn't see it, a little ball came up here. Watch, I'll save it again. Save. See the little ball? That, now, that means it's done. So now I'm going to hit close. And it's all set. Now if I go back to my blog, edfromohio.com, I just added this. Of course I'm going to take it off because I don't need my banner on here twice. Yeah, there it is. Okay, see it? See, so now if you go down, so of course I already had it on my thing, but now I added it to the bottom. There it is. See that? Yeah, that's the banner that'll be on there. And if you change the username, it will have your link in it. You just change. That's the only thing you change. Everything else leaves the same. Okay? All right, bye-bye.